I told you earlier, before the release of these upgraded dew from heaven, I said it. I said this very dew from heaven will shake the whole world. And it has started. I have not seen anything. But you have that dew from heaven, and you minister it. Ha! Listen to this testimony. So that you know the value of what you have collected. The woman had to sit down because of the situation. You listen to what happened. You know why she's not strong enough to stand. Why they're giving her cheer. Okay. Hear from this. Thank you. Elohim. Elohim. Yes, on a faithful Thursday, my name is Ata Antonia. And the woman sitting beside me, she's our helper. On a faithful Thursday, she came to the house. Before then, after the um, money devotion there's this prayer we said elohim is in charge of this house as we go in and out therefore satan is not permitted clap for jesus christ i believe that is the handwriting you have received yes sir in form of the frame yes sir uh-huh so, while I was getting ready to take the children to school, she came in to do some work. As I wanted to drive out, she said, Hey, madam, wait, let me open the gate for you. And I said, don't worry. The children are coming to open the gate. But she insisted. She said, no, let me open the gate. Since the children are not closed, I said, okay. After opening the gate, I drove out. While I was in the car, I bent my head. Please, and I saw sorry, the gate. sorry, sorry. I want you to pay attention to this testimony. Listen attentively. So that you know the value of anything you receive from somebody who is enjoying the grace of God. If, somebody, if you know that this person is enjoying the grace of God, and that person gives you handkerchief, and this person speaks authoritatively and it means it you look at the person's facial expression you know that the person means what he's talking about don't joke without those words take this hanky use it anywhere you're going it has a handwriting of god if i were you take it and value it more than your money it is in the bible the aprons and handkerchiefs that touched apostle paul were taken to the sick and they were all healed the shadow of peter healed and our master, Jesus Christ, who released that anointing to everyone who believed in him, spat on the floor, mixed with mud, and placed on the eye of the blind. The Bible said, his sight. It means any step taken by somebody enjoying the grace of God is backed up by God himself. Don't joke with that step. Listen, listen attentively. Uh -huh. So, while I bent my head, I saw that the gate was out of the way. I was saying, hey, won't this gate fall down? I haven't finished saying that word. I just heard the noise. Bang! And I rushed out from the car. I didn't even know when I hold the brake. I ran out from the car. The gate fell on her. She was under the gate. I was trying to pull the gate up, but the gate was too heavy. So I was shouting, Daddy, Daddy, where are you? Please come out. Everybody, come on, come on. Somebody is dying. So... My husband ran out. A passerby came in. We hurriedly pulled the gate up. She was under the gate. And my husband dragged her out. He was shouting, bring water, bring water, bring water. 
and my son brought water. We poured water inside Hold on. her mouth. Excuse me. You know, when you are giving a testimony, the testimony goes step by step. How many of you pulled the gate? How many people? Three of us. Three of three people to pull the gate means you can imagine how heavy that gate is. Falling on one person. Now, when you raise the gate, what was the condition of this woman before you start pouring water? Some must have made you to start shouting, bring water, bring water. Let people understand the, 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 the importance of what you're talking about. Uh -huh. She was half dead. When I saw her under the gate, her eyes had gone white. She was like this, unconscious. That was why I was shouting, help, help, help. Somebody is dying here. And my husband rushed out. I said, help. While we were pulling the gate, I was shouting, stand up, stand up, stand up. Of course, she couldn't hear me. And my husband was shouting, bring water, bring water. And my son brought water. Okay, you know what it means for this eyeball? You know, you know every normal human being, this is the way you look. You see the whitest section. You also see the black portion, isn't it? But when it all becomes white, what does that imply to you? Eh? Eh? Dirt. And for them to start pouring water means the woman was already gone. Listen. Eh? While we were pouring water in her mouth, the water was pouring out. It means no water was going into her body. And I saw her. I said, no. I started shouting again. Hey, Otonuba, do you from heaven, do you from heaven. I was shouting, do you from heaven. My son hurriedly went inside and brought you from heaven. My husband removed the cap and started spraying. I was still standing. I was holding the gate and I was praying there. Receive your healing, receive your strength, breath of life. In the name of Jesus, come back to life. Initially, we poured water inside her mouth. But the water came out. Nothing went in. Immediately we sprinkled this dew from heaven. Oh, my God. The water initially that we gave her was pouring out. But when we sprinkled this dew from heaven, it went in. And we prepared a large breath. Her hands was like this, and her leg was curved as well. But immediately, her hand was shaking, and her leg as well was shaking. That was when the other guy that came to help, he now looked at the water. He said, give her more now. Pour the water more. Pour that for your body. She don't come back. So I laughed. I said, wow. Hmm. This is mystery. Well, I don't know, but all I have to say is that something must happen for the name of Jesus Christ to be glorified. In the moment the Jew was ministered into her mouth, that loud breath you heard <laughs> implies that the real self came back the spirit was already gone but when god sees his favor his mercy somewhere he will act fast for his name to be glorified imagine the moment they're spraying that jew nothing happened will she be here today she can never believe in the god of elohim and she can never believe that the jew can do wonders but the moment she sprinkled that jew into the mouth of the woman she came back to life. So what is the lesson here? Don't joke with whatever you have received from someone. Not necessarily here. Anywhere. Somebody gives you something. And you look at the person's lifetime and know that this person is enjoying the grace of God. Don't joke with that thing. You heard it? Somebody who was already gone. Now was brought back to life through the dew from heaven. Many of you have it. You throw it under your pillow. You don't know the value. Some have it. Even... As we're talking now, people are remembering where they kept their own. 
But this is a typical example of what God can do through his view from heaven. And when you see this woman, you know that she's still very weak. Uh -huh. What happened at the end of the day? And now, hurriedly, um, we brought her out from the gate. She sat down. She was looking at me. She was like, what happened? What happened to me? Did I fall down? Did this gate actually fall on me? We were like, don't worry. Yes, the gate fell. Can you imagine? That means she never knew what happened. Wow. Can she speak English? Yes, I speak outside. Okay, but she will be able to say one of the things. Yes. Eh? yes. Okay, before then, now, you have experienced the power of God right in this view from heaven. You are seeing it. What is your message to all who are listening to you, especially to those who have this and don't know the value? And advise them. What, can, what do you think God can do with this thing you are processing with you? Before now, I'll say about the speak, the sticker. I brought my neighbor here. This was December. And after going back home, I gave her sticker. And the next day, I saw the sticker inside the trash bin. I was like, why did you do this? She said, eh, bring 2021 for me. Oh, bring that water. <laughs> so I smiled. I said, you don't know what to throw away. If you had known, you won't say that. Coming to this view from heaven, what I just have to say, it's a mystery. Hmm. It's, it's a mystery. A mystery. That's, That's the best adjective to qualify it. You can't use words to qualify it. The best adjective to qualify it is that it is what? A mystery. That is it. Now, can we quickly, just briefly, hear from her? Let's just hear from her. Okay. Okay, oh yeah. Ask her her name. Sandezua. Kigama na Sulenki. Sunana Zuera. She said her name is Zuera. Could you could she could she just recall what happened in the house and the gates? To Kigama na Bonde Faroa Gitam Arana. Arana. Rana and Hamis Naja Gidans, Nama and I, one of Madania Wajena, Naja and I, Naja and Matawanki, Lamatawanki, she and Tatia Munkara and Wood, I guess, she and the two they get Nada as a repeat, she and Cosby apart from me. So the Ganampas are up in the Akai, but Nina, Tash and Agani, Commandaria, Gariawai, she and the Senegals, Akai, Nada, Italy, and the Gidanta. She said on Thursday. This woman is her madam. She normally washes for the woman. And uh, that very faithful day, she went to the house to wash for her. She was there when the woman wanted to go out, and she helped her to open the gate. And she said, all of a sudden, she just went blank. Like, the gate hit her, and she went blank. That She didn't know what happened again. That was all she, she could remember. That was all she could remember. She said when she woke up, it was as if... People gathered, everybody, and she was asking them what happened to her. Glad for Jesus Christ. This is a clear proof that if Lady the Gates hit her, she passed on. But the Jew from heaven brought her back to life through the power of Jesus Christ. Glad for Jesus Christ once again. Wow. That's all. What else do you want to hear again? What else? That's all. Uh -huh. Cette femme vient de témoigner que jeudi passé, elle était chez elle et elle, préparait, elle se préparait à quitter la maison. Et elle a fait une petite prière disant, Elohim est en charge de cette maison et par conséquent, Satan n'est pas autorisé ici. Alors, lorsqu'elle sortait en voiture, tout d'un coup, le portail est tombé sur la femme qui est assise. Elle a vitement appelé au secours. Elle dit que elle a vu la femme, elle était inconsciente et le portail avait courbé son bras et sa jambe aussi. Directement, elle a demandé qu'on lui amène la rosée du matin et elle a pulvérisé ça sur la femme. Et pour la gloire de Dieu, voici que la femme inconsciente est revenue à la vie. Yes, thank you very much. And uh, I want to see. She has something to say? Okay. Interpreter. 
She said we should help her with prayers, more prayers, and to help her children too. No, pro no problem. That is why you are here. Let her know that's why she's here. And after the service, I want to see her and also see our sister. Wake up, Kidamu. In the Akatashi, Zoingeki. Kankadashi, Zoingeki. She tell me she now word is now word is okay. She says she is grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, please help her. I want to see her after the service, and I also want her to go to prayer line. After that, I want to see her. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know what it means for a whole gate? See how big the gate is to fall on her. As when nobody was there, that would be the end. But God wants to, his name to be glorified. That was why the woman was there to come to her rescue. And we thank God Almighty.